some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and I am continuing to play Astronauts. Uh, if you haven't watched my discussion, I mentioned that I was going to kind of kick off a, uh, a thing where I just kind of show every, in this case, boss in the game, kind of like what I did with Final Girl, um, if you haven't seen my stuff for that. I basically went out and did... Uh, like every single box of Final Girl just kind of as a separate video. I'm going to be doing that with Astro Knights as well. So uh, my original overall run through was against Furion. I think that's what his name was. And now I'm going to be going up against Fission Parasite. So let's, uh, let's uh, see what this is about. Uh, but first, we're going to see what old Zack can do. Z-A-K. Uh, designation, he's a sharpshooter. Plan of origin is Quarus. Specialty, late damage and early damage. Okay, well there was another guy just like him. Comments! All of my astronauts are strong of heart, but the strongest may just be the one who doesn't have a heart at all. The dreaded architect O815, a super powerful AI bent on galactic domination, has produced thousands of robots to serve as cannon fodder in its army. These droids seem to be mindless, marching into massacre at the will of their architect. But Zack must have been forged with some strange spark. I found Zack on Quarus, being repaired by battlefield medics alongside Quarian warriors. The same warriors who had been fighting to the death against droids just like Zack, only hours before. When the medics told me of Zack's impossible bravery turning against their own kind to protect defenseless civilians, I knew I had found a true astronaut. So, he, uh... He starts with one slot, and zero power, goes up to four, and he has ten health. And uh, his ability is activate during your main phase, attack with up to two of your weapons without discarding them. That's pretty nice. And he will be facing off against the Fission Parasite. So, scouting report. For generations, we thought it was just a ghost story, the living infection that spreads from planet to planet, corrupting everything in its path. But now you knights must come face to face with the fission parasite itself. Destroying it will be no easy feat. Make sure to lock down your equipment early. The toxic spores fission parasite gives off can corrode even the most advanced supplies. When it reaches its next level, it can even consume an entire stockpile of equipment all at once. So make sure you plan ahead. Some of your team might get infected, but don't panic. A level head and a focused strategy will help you pick which ally can handle each disease. Stay focused. Keep your exo sludge from spreading and cut the corruption off at its source. 50 health, so that's, I mean, this might as well just be easy mode. So the rules, when a card and supply is destroyed, increase the swarm track by 1. At the end of the boss turn, if the swarm track is at 10, perform the following. Homeworld suffers 6 damage. Resolve Swarm effects on boss cards It play in any order and set the Swarm track to zero. When an Exo Sludge is defeated, which is this, it goes back to the Exo Sludge deck. If the Exo Sludge deck is empty when one would be placed into play, destroy three cards in the supply instead. If there are no cards in the supply, the players lose. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. And when a player is exhausted, you just destroy a supply deck. Which is what those are. Yeah. All right. Well, I am defending New Atlantis with 26 health. Activate during any player's main phase. Players collectively, uh, yeah, collectively return two cards from their discard pile to their hands. So that's a thing. That's a thing that might help. But let's go ahead and uh, get started, shall we? And see who is going first. It is me. I shall be going first, and I have only one slot, so I think ugh, might not be the best opening turn, but I am going to spend three power cores to increase my slot, and then pop down my tectonic repeater and a blaster. So, if his main ability is being able to pop off two weapons without discarding them, well then, one, two, three, four, five, I should be able to put two weapons down. Uh, well, that was my overall turn, so let's see who's going next. It is me. Okay, uh, I will, uh, well, what's interesting is I can do my blaster, 
And let's see, let me just double check and make sure I'm doing this right. I may attack with any number of my, uh, after each one resolve, discard it, cool. So, blaster, I'm gonna deal one damage. Um, yeah, I think I will go after this exo sludge. So I'll hit the exo sludge. Then I will do my tectonic repeater and I will deal one damage. Uh, so I'll do another damage to the exo sludge and I may return a weapon from my discard pile to my hand. So let's put the blaster back in my hand. And then I will prep two blasters. And now I have four power cores. I think, so the psionic needle, which is very clearly, uh, oh, what was his name from Guardians of the Galaxy? The guy that, I was gonna say Mickey Rourke. That's not correct. What is his name? Zanu? Zanu? No. Huh. Well, yeah, that's his, that's clearly that. And these, the fission parasites, are 100% reapers from, or reapers, reavers from Mass Effect. So, do I buy four? I can get the mag field, gain two. The next time you gain a weapon this turn, you may place it on top of any ally's deck. Well, I mean, in a solo game, I'm the ally, so I could just put a weapon on top. That's not bad. Solaris Cell is good, because it's two, and I just gain two. The Tactical Visor, I can buy, or I can overcharge it. And something that I didn't do in my original run-through. When you overcharge a tech, you pay its cost and resolve its effect immediately, but it goes to the bottom, versus buying it to go into your deck. Attack with any player's weapon. Increase its damage by one place that weapon in that player's discard pile, then you may destroy that weapon. Just get to pop it off and get rid of blasters. That's good probably later when I have better weapons. Hmm. I think, so the psionic needle is attack, deal two damage, and gain a slot. I mean, that's just huge. Or just deal three damage. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna buy the psionic needle. So that's going to be four, boop, then four power cores. Uh, yeah. Now I have the, the Disruptor Pistol. Deal two damage, you may destroy the top card of any supply deck. Absolutely not, because <laughs> that's already going to happen. So flip this. One, two, three, four, five. And I would like to go next, even though he, that means he, okay, well, I'm not. So, now it's his turn. I'm going to destroy the card with the lowest cost in the supply. It's going to be one of these two. I will actually destroy the, uh, the Disruptor Pistol. I'll just put all destroyed cards over here. Now he's going to go Irradiated Venom. Any player suffers two damage. This is a strike. Any player suffers two damage. Okay, I guess that'll be me. Place an Exo Sludge into play. If he is level 2 or higher, I would place an additional one into play, which I, uh, he's not. So, 3 damage there. Ew, it's just gooing everywhere. Alright, come on. Oh, okay. Come on, let me go, let me go. You bitch! Ew, okay. Destroy the card with the lowest cost in the supply. Well, now it doesn't matter. Now that's gonna be that one. And then it will be that one for the other Exo Sludge. And then Contaminate. The home world suffers two damage. Place an Exo Sludge into play for his boss turn. Ooh! Oh my god. Oh no. One, two. And then for each boss uh, turn order card in the discard pile. That's two! That's two Exo Sludges. No. <laughs> one, two, three. Then one, two, three. Well, the good news is, is I know for a fact it's my turn. I'm just going to pull that over here. Well, let's pop off these blasters and kill one exo sludge. Um, that's one. And you know what? I'll do the other one just to hit him. Feel better about myself. Put him into 49. And he's about to level up and eat my ass. Okay, tectonic, repeater, and then psionic needle. And now I have three. Okay. Face shield is really good. 
I'm not going to do the Nebula Wave. I don't think that's great for me. I only have three. I am going to buy the Phase Shield. And that will be three there. Yeah. And then one, two, three, four. Flip that. Make it five. And then shuffle the Turn Order deck. Ooh, yeah. This number of Exo Sledges coming out is not is not great. Oh, also, uh, thank God it doesn't happen right now, but I need to bump up the swarm. So that's three cards that have been destroyed. So that means this goes up by three, or up to three. Yep, so when a card in the supply is destroyed. Huh, it'd be nice if it went down every time an Exo Sludge was killed. But it's not. It's not. Okay, now whose turn is it? It's me! <sighs> okay. Oh, well, I think I know what I'm going to be doing on my turn. Uh, well, I'm going to do a Psionic Needle. And I'm actually going to do 2 damage and gain a slot. So I'm going to do 2 damage to an Exo Sludge. And then my Tectonic Repeater, I'm going to deal 1 damage and return a weapon from my discard pile to my hand. So I will kill an Exo Sludge. And then I'm going to prep a blaster and my psionic needle. And I have four again. Yeah, let's, um, yeah, I'm going to spend four and I'm going to get the mag field. So mag field and then my four. So now the antimatter current has five, gain three, may destroy the top card. I don't want to do that. I mean, I would, funny enough in my discussion, I was talking about how there's no real way to cycle through those. There is now, but I don't want to against him. Ugh. So it's me again. Hello, me. It's me again. Yeah, let's do a psionic needle. Three damage, which is good, because that wipes these exoskeletons right now, or the exosludge. And then I'll do my blaster um, to ping him for one. Ho oh, ho! Yeah, suck it. Okay, then we're going to do the blaster and a phase shield, and now I have three... Yeah, I'm going to spend three. I'm going to get this Nebula Wave. Because then, if I can... That's to store a fuel in my hand. That can at least get rid of some power cores. One, two, three, four, five. Because if I can get rid of some power cores, I can get through my phase needle a lot quicker. And that might, that might be beneficial. Oh, well, shit. That's me three times in a row. Meaning he's going to go twice in a row. Not bad. Not bad. I will pop off my face shield and my blaster to deal three damage to kill this exo sludge. So no exo sludges are out. Dealt with that. That worked out. And the home world will power up. Yay! Unfortunately, that will be my attack tectonic repeater. I have one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. And the next time I gain this a weapon this turn, I may place on top of any ally's deck. I am my own ally. Yeah, I think I will spend that five and get this fractal grenade, which is deal three damage and deal two damage to a minion. Effects that modify damage affect both instances. Yeah, okay. So now this fractal grenade, which has me on the cover, goes to the top because of my mag field just got this grenade uh and we will discard like so one two three four five unfortunately uh i will not be going for the next two rounds so let's just see what happens oh look it's the boss's turn Fish and Parasite, what are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you going to do? Oh, look, you have no stupid sludges out? Well, how about a Venomized Horde that has seven health? 
Seven health, activate, no activate effect. Okay. Uh, well, that was that. Oh, look, it's your turn again. Well, wow, activate. Destroy two cards in the supply or, or any player suffers two damage. <sighs> Destroy any two cards in the supply? Okay, I'll do that. I don't want to take any damage. So we'll get rid of this tactile visor. Which will pop that up by one. And... Equips a weapon. Hmm. I think I'll do the scatter beam. Okay. Well, that puts the swarm to five. May not be the best, but one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Uh, and then he has to draw. He can't. So let's go ahead and shuffle. Shuffle this deck, and he is now level two. So, instant, destroy a supply deck, minions in play, gain 2 health. Okay, so this Venomized Horde has 9 health. Destroy a supply... Oh, God, destroy a supply deck? I thought that was a, um... Destroy a supply card, destroy a supply deck. Oh, I guess we'll... Okay. I think it's a deck, so that does not affect, um, wow, that does not affect the, uh, the swarm. There's no way. That's what I'm going with anyway. So swarm effects on boss cards in play. Alrighty. Okay. That's his boss deck now, and here's his card. Astral Infection. Destroy two fuel in the supply. If he's at level two, any player sets this card next to their mat. Oh, God. Okay, let's put these at the bottom. Oh, I see now what they mean by swarm cards. Okay. Destroy two fuel in the supply. Yep. Oh, man. Okay. So that will be two... Wow. Yep, so now I have an Astral Infection. Um, any player sets this card next to their mat. Whoo! Great. So now, whenever he does his Swarm effect, I will lose three slots. That's disgusting. I mean, good thing I got that needle. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that at all. All right, let's see. Oh, he's. Oh my God, he's going again. Destroy two cards in the supplier. I. You know what? I'll just suffer two damage this time. Cosmic infection. Destroy two tech in the supply. If the vision is at any player's set. God. Okay. Well. There's two techs going away. One, two. Puts that at nine. Hey, look, psionic tether. That's pretty cool. So now, this player destroys two cards in their hand that costs three energy or more. That's, uh, yeah. Okay, well. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, thank God, it's my turn. All right. Well, the home world doesn't seem to be getting affected all that much. <sighs> Let's pop off my tectonic repeater to deal a damage and then return a weapon. I guess I'll return my phase shield. Yep, yep, it's time to start doing damage to your ass. So that's one. Okay, well... Think Nebula Wave, I will gain two and destroy a fuel in my hand. And the supply is destroyed. Okay, so destroy the power core. And um, I have three slots, so I think I'll pop Psionic Needle, my Fractal Grenade, 
and my phase shield. Hold on to my blaster. Oh, discard my nebula wave. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, nope, nope. One, two, three, four. Because that puts me at five. Okay. Well, let's just, uh, let's just see what I can do. It's my turn. So let's go ahead and play, you know what? I'm actually gonna play four. I think now's a good time to start doing my ability. And that's it. I have no way to get rid of these actually. It doesn't say anything. Um, and set the swarm track to zero. Yeah, I'm just infected. Okay, so, good, 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 yeah, this is a good hand, this is a good hand, I think. Hopefully I can go next, because, oh, thank god, I am going next. So now, I can, hmm, or destroy two guards in the supply, can I avoid popping that swarm off, because he's going to go next. I have to do the attack phase first. So let's go ahead and not do those. And instead, go to my main phase, spending my mag field to gain two, which I will use to increase that. Then I will use my ability to attack with up to two of my weapons without discarding them. And I think I am going to attack with my psionic needle and my fractal grenade. Yeah. So, psionic needle, I'm going to do two damage and gain a slot. Ugh, let's do two damage here. And then my fractal, fractal grenade will deal three damage. And then two damage to a minion. So that was two, I did that, so now I have three total, which I will buy this Repulsor. And because I used the mag field, that will go on top. And I will hold on to that. So one, two, one, two, three, four, flip this to make that five. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I think I'm... <sighs> okay, it's not the worst thing that can happen. It's not great. Um, yeah, it's definitely not great. But it is going to be his turn. Boss turn! Activate, destroy the card with the lowest cost in the supply. That will be this Nova Cloud, which unfortunately will make that 10, but that's at the end of his turn. Then destroy two cards in the supply, so I'll destroy this Howler and this, ooh, deal four damage, you may return a weapon from your, I like that. So, oh god, I think I'll do the Tachyon Flow, which doesn't increase the Swarm anymore. Let's see what his card is. A Contagion Beast which is five, six, seven, and then this basically, because uh, it starts with five, but it gains two more from the level up. <sighs> the homeworld suffers one damage, and yeah, I suffer two. Now, end of his turn. This is 10. Resolve swarm effects on boss cards in play in any order. Uh, player destroys two cards. Oh, destroys? That's ass. Okay. Worth three or more. Okay. And then I lose three slots. This knocks me down to one. Knocks the swarm down to zero. Oh, this, this one's rough. I've only done six damage to him. I feel like shuffling five cards just isn't 
isn't enough. I feel like I am just not, not doing it. Uh, God, I don't fucking know. Well, it is me. Uh, I am down to one slot, so I have to pop these off. I was going to do that anyway, so... <laughs> so I'm going to do my Sonic Needle, deal two damage. Yeah, I'll deal two damage to him. One, one two, three. Uh, and I gain a slot, so at least the Sonic Needle's there. It probably won't be till. Then I got my Fractal Grenade. That's going to be 3 damage, then 2 to a minion. So, let's do 3 damage here. And then 2 to a minion. And then my phase shield. 2 damage. I'm going to do it to him. Probably not my smartest move. The 39, but Homeworld powers up. Which is actually not bad, because that lets me return 2 cards from my discard pile to my hand. Um... Because I had to get rid of these, I only can do those two, and unfortunately, no buying at all. So there's four. Potentially can still do something. Yeah, hopefully I get to go. Fuck me. <sighs> <sighs> Destroy two cards in the supply. Okay, Swarm is down to... I'll destroy two cards in the supply. God, okay. There's one. And... Gain two if you have your maximum number of slots. That's not happening. Two. That's unfortunately not happening. Irradiate Venom. Any player suffers two damage, then put an Exo Sludge into play. If there, he's level two, an additional Exo Sludge. So I suffer two damage. I will suffer another two damage, and my homeworld suffers one from the Contagion Beast. And these come with five health on them now. I'm sounding like the guy from the fucking thing. <sighs> okay. Well, Swarm is only at two. And it's my turn. God. So two. Uh, okay, so my Tectonic Repeater, I will deal one damage. I can return a weapon from my Discard Pell to my hand. Let's do my Psionic Needle. So that's going to be one damage, killing the Venomized Horde. And then my Blaster is another one damage. Yep. Yep. I know this, this sludge is going to ac accelerate the swarm. Okay, so pop my Psionic Needle. And then the Blaster. And I have two, three, four, five. I have five. So I could buy a grav hammer, deal four damage. I may return a weapon from my discard pile to my hand, so I can keep cycling that. That's good. That's what I'm gonna buy with my mag field. So that's gonna be two, three, four, five, and the grav hammer will go on top of my deck. And yeah, so that was that was pretty much that. And then one, two, three, four, five his hand looking not bad not bad have i already gone i have damn it oh god stop stop going oh i could have whatever oh well uh, i guess i could have done a new atlantis ability okay let's activate contagion beast home world suffers one damage then i suffer i'm so fucked then I suffer two, and now I'm exhausted, so I need to destroy a deck. Destroy a supply deck, which I am not saying is a card, because that would just mean the swarm would just... I don't, I don't know. And there's no way that that... Yeah, 
there's no way that it kind of that it would spe specify that. This says when a card in the supply is destroyed. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say that when it destroys a deck, that's enough because that's one way I lose anyway. Uh, okay, destroy a card with the lowest cost in the supply. That will be the Nebula Wave, and then the Stellar Wake. Because that's a card. That's a card. That's two destroyed. Knock and swarm up to four. And then... Nebulae Infection. Destroy two weapons in the supply if any player... Wow. Yep. So, player suffers four damage when the swarm goes off. Destroying two weapons in the supply. There's only two, or there's only a deck left. Which puts swarm to six. And that was his turn. And yay! Yay! Yay, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... I think it's a, just a race at this point. I think it's just a race, so I'm going to pop my Sonic Needle and Blaster, dealing two, three total damage, increasing my slot to three. So three damage to this. <clears throat> I know I lose when those go out and I'm pretty much dead if all these swarms go off. So then let's prep my grav hammer and my fractal grenade. And let's do I have three deal do you may destroy the top card, but I do not want to do that. Two you may destroy this card to gain a weapon that costs five or less. That would have been nice. Okay, I'm going to spend two power cores to increase my ability, or to power up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, actually, I will, uh, well, I already drew, so. Now let's shuffle the turn order deck, and just remove the boss cards. This fish and parasite is nasty. And I'm feeling this one to go on top. Yes. Yes, okay. That's the one right there. That's me. That's me. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, I think I keep forgetting to do his level card, so... Uh, okay, well, that's destroyed, so that's going to pop that up. Then the homeworld suffers damage, and then I suffer two damage, which means it's going to be four damage to the homeworld. And then destroy the card with the lowest cost in the supply. That'll be that one. And then this one, which means it's two it's only at nine. Okay, toxic momentum. Destroy two cards in the supply. If there are two or fewer exo sludge in play, place an exo sludge into into play. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I lost. So destroy two cards in the supply. One two, which then increases that. And an Exo Sludge comes into play. Five health. And then, yeah, it's the end of his turn. So it's at 10. Swarm effects. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I lose three slots. So now I go down to zero. And, yeah. Then player destroys two cards in their hand, costing three or more. All right, that's my mag field and my phase shield. And then I suffer four damage. I can't, so that will be eight damage. Knocking Homeworld down to nine. All right, that was all of those. Now it's my turn. Okay. Grav Hammer and Fractal Grenade, I will do so. Um, so that's gonna be four, five, six, seven. Seven damage to the Fission Parasite. Knocks it down to 28. These will go here. 
I may return a weapon from my discard pile to my hand. Um, do psionic needle. I guess. Uh, although, I have no slots. <laughs> So I'm going to have to get rid of that one at the end of my turn and draw two cards. Yep. 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 And it's my turn. I don't even get to do damage. I have to spend three power to prep my psionic needle. Oh, the, the grenade got to do two damage to a, to a guy. Uh, that's... Oh, yeah, I increased my slot. And then I'll prep the psionic needle. And then that's one. Two, three, four. <sighs> okay. Sure. Yep. That's, I, that's, I'm pretty sure that that's game. So, Swarm. Uh, Homeworld suffers one damage. Any player suffers two, meaning Homeworld suffering... Five, knocking that down to four. Then destroying a card with the lowest cost in the supply four times. So one, two, three, four. So that bumps the swarm to four. Viro, uh, Virostrum is right there. Instant destroy two cards in the supply. Sure. Sure. Not uh, not any of these. So that's two in the swarm. And he has an activate. Place an exo sludge into play. All right. And now it's my turn. Let's do my psionic needle. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Uh, gaining a slot and dealing two damage. One, two. And then I will spend three... No, I won't. I'm going to spend two to power up. Going to then do the new Atlantis ability, and I will collectively return two cards from my discard pile to my hand, which is going to be my psionic needle, so I can prep my tectonic repeater and my psionic needle. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty. Yeah, I mean, I know I need to be destroying exo sludges and stuff, but five health is just a little bit more than what I can do for damage. And. Yeah, well, he isn't, he isn't even at half health. That is just, just disgusting. Um, so, let's just see. Okay, well, it's my turn. Okay. Sonic Needle. Gonna do two damage and gain a slot. Is that two damage? Now he's at under half health. Yay! And then tectonic repeater, and I will return my psionic needle to my hand. So that's that. I deal one damage. Uh, oh, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Yep, just gonna keep doing it to him. All right, well. Spend two power cores, bump that up. I can have three. Two, three. <sighs> yes. All right. That's all I can do. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do 
see what happens if it's him. Okay, it's me. Jeez, I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, well, I actually can kind of do something, maybe. Let's go ahead and do my fractal, fractal grenade. Three damage, then deal two damage to a minion. So, sure, two. So one, two, three. So three damage up here, that's gonna be 20. And then, um, yeah, then I will, okay. Yeah, then I'll do my power core, raising up my power and I have two. Nothing nothing cost two. Nothing cost two. But um I will then do my ability and do my psionic needle and the grav hammer. So I will, instead of gaining a slot, I'm going to deal three damage, so four, so seven damage. Seven damage over here, which will be, knock it down to 13. And I can return a weapon from my discord pile to my hand. And uh, those will actually stay. And so then I will prep my fractal, fractal grenade. I'll get rid of this blaster because it's just not going to do me any good. One, two, three. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, well. Alright, yep. i pretty sure I lost. Yeah, I did. I lost. That knocks it down to zero from the Contagion Beast just, just alone. Oh, that was annoying. Well, good thing it happened right when I lost, so... Uh... That was, that was, uh... That was rough. Would I have won on my next turn, though? That would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nope. Would have been very close, though. Um... Yeah. Uh, with the psionic needle at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... And then the fractal grenade, eight, nine, ten. It would have been ten damage to him, knocking him down to three. Uh, so just, just didn't have, didn't have, didn't, did, did, didn't have the damage. Um, hell, yeah. Even uh, well, the contagion beast would have, if that wasn't there, then I wouldn't have taken any damage. Exo Sludge would have destroyed a card that's one. So that's three things getting destroyed, knocking that to nine. And then the Viro Strum makes put a, puts another Exo Sludge into play. And then Contaminate, Homeworld suffers two damage. Then an Exo Sludge in, into play. Um. Yeah. Maybe if I had killed the Contagion Beast, I might have survived because my... Oh no, my because then my next turn, uh, that would have been my next turn doing the ten damage, and then he would have gone, which that would have destroyed the card. Oh no, that would have knocked it to four, and then yeah, no, it, it wasn't happening. Who? Okay, well, Vision Parasite uh, is a challenge rating four, and boy. Did I hate him? <laughs> like, here's the, here's the thing. So this is obviously based off of uh, solo, solo play, and with no way to remove these infections, it's too much. It is absolutely too much in a solo game. You have no one else to divvy up the infection, so it just goes to you. And it goes, it just goes on to you to destroy the Exo Sludges as well. Uh, and whenever they're at level two, minions enter with plus two health. So 
yeah, I at the beginning, like, a psionic needle does three damage to an exo sludge, and that just kills it. Okay, that's manageable. I can do that. But then when they're coming in with plus five, or if he's at level three, uh, plus four, so it's seven health, it's like, the, it's just not happening. Uh, it becomes a race at that point to be like, okay, I'm just going to start attacking you and hope I can kill it quicker than it can start removing cards and having the swarms affect me. With no way to remove these infections, no like cure cards or no cost on the on the on the cards. Like if it was like okay, so like in Aeon's End, for example, there's cards that are like powers. That's like, hey, this is really bad. You have a certain number of time to get to deal with it. Otherwise, or you can pay uh, seven Aether or whatever it's called to get rid of it. It's like oh, I have seven. I really wanted those cards, but okay, yeah, I'll pay the seven to remove them. There's not even any of that with these with these infections. Like these needed to have like a cost on it. And at the same time, it's like if Fission Parasite is level two, any player sets his card next to their mat. Well, these are only coming in at level two anyway. Uh, well, I guess that's not true if you're playing with um, multiple people. Then, um, then yeah, it's like then then they would come in at level two. Uh, or they'd already be in the deck, but it's um there. I feel like there does need to be a way to get rid of them, uh, not like destroy them or anything, but put them in the discard pile and then come back, uh, just so then you have to deal with it again. Just but them just have, being a, a passive fuck you card is is really bad. On top of like I don't mind things that mess with the supply deck. I usually think that that's interesting. In fact having supply cards get removed and that increases the swarm therefore increasing the chance because this is rough like especially the one that's any play this player suffers four damage well if that's just me and i'm at zero well that's eight damage to the home world that's just that's too much to deal with on top of destroying cards from my hand then also losing three slots so it's like all my weapons are gone all my powerful cards are gone and i'm also just innately it's, it's like no there's there's no way. I mean, getting it down to 13 is good. Uh, and again, if it was kind of one of those things that's like, oh man, if I get one more turn, I can win. But that wasn't the case. Uh, in fact, you just kind of quit buying cards because you're like, what's the point? I'm just going to try and work with what I got. Maybe if Zach's ability was a little bit cheaper... I don't. I mean, I could see this being really good. That if you have very high, powerful cards, to then be able to use them multiple times, it comes in handy. But yeah, him specifically against the fission parasite was just rough from the get go. And and yeah, like I I just think that overall, what fixes this fission parasite is a way to cure an infection. And I don't mind if it's one of those it costs a lot of energy to get rid of. Uh, like, it costs five energy or six or seven energy, then you're like, okay, I'm gonna buy that fuel to gain energy to specifically at least get this off of me. Then, yeah, that would be a little bit more manageable. Especially considering the fact that this is supposed to be a challenge rating four really like level four huh maybe yeah i can see it being level four if there are if there's one other knight to be to it's like okay like i'm taking i have i've taken some damage so we'll give you the nebulae infection so that if it goes off you'll be the one to take four damage i have a way of gaining a bunch of slots so i'll take the one that removes you know three slots because i have ways of getting it back uh, that's probably the best way to play to play this. Then I can see the fission parasite being a little bit more fun, but right now I did not like it. Um, so fission parasite would probably be like I, I just saw something. I thought I saw something move. So I'm like, what the hell was that? Uh, again, this is not knocking. Astronites as as a game. So Fission Parasite, the boss itself, I'd probably give a four. 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to give it a four because I don't think it's base average. I think kind of like the one that you start playing with, the one my run through was, uh, that would be like a good baseline. I think this one's kind of a little bit too rough as a solo uh, experience, at least with one night. Sorry, because you can't play this solo and two hand two nights. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's the Fission Parasite. Um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.